great adventurer Cornelia Fort. Famous for her grit, patriotism, and passion. Born to a wealthy Bellmead family, Cornelia chose the high skies over high society and earned a place in U.S. military history. I just consider her a hero, someone who lived for something bigger than she was, someone who gave of herself um, in a cause she believed in for a country she loved. Author Rob Simbeck is enchanted by Cornelia Fort. He penned Daughter of the Air, a book about Cornelia's short yet adventurous life, a life that reads like a fairy tale, for the last chapter only Shakespeare could have imagined. In 1919, Cornelia Clark Fort was born. Her parents, East Nashville Farm Fortland, rested on 365 acres along the Cumberland River. Cornelia was the fourth of five children. Young Cornelia's wild hair was a telltale sign of a spirited girl who was to become a trailblazer. My grandfather had his three sons put their hand on the Bible and swear that they would never fly. Tish Fort is Cornelia Fort's niece. She says her grandfather, after seeing so many pilots die during World War I, made his son's vow to never fly an airplane. Now, outside in the hall, Cornelia was standing there watching this going on, but Cornelia was probably like eight or nine years younger than my father. It never occurred to my grandfather to bring this, young, this little girl in there and make her promise too that she would never fly. Cornelia went on to take her expected place in Nashville society. The blank expression on the debutante's face during her coming out party says it all. She was someone who didn't take so well to being a debutante, to being a, a young Bellmead girl with an expected life path at the Bellmead Country Club. She wanted an adventure, she found the airplane, and she went on to live uh, a dream. The death of her father in 1940 would be a turning point for Cornelia. She took her first lesson a few days after he died. Dudley, her brother, said, Cornelia, how dare you fly, knowing that our father forbid us to do it. And she said, Daddy gave that oath to the boys, not to me. No longer an awkward debutante, Cornelia found her natural place behind the controls of an airplane. A year later, she became Nashville's first female flight instructor and the second Tennessee woman to receive her commercial pilot's license. Charles Kinley was the Fortland farm manager Kinley recalls Cornelia flying her plane under this bridge by Fortland and flipping it upside down before coming in for a landing. She asked me, she said, Charles, come and fly with me down in Jackson. I said, Cornelia, no way, no. <laughs> Cornelia's adventure took her away from home and to Hawaii as a flight instructor. She was in flight the morning of the attack on Pearl Harbor. She and her student pilot narrowly escaped. Cornelia returned home and anxiously anticipated a call to duty. When the Army announced that for the first time they would accept female pilots to take part in the new Women's Auxiliary Ferrying Squadron, Cornelia was the second in line to volunteer. Cornelia, along with these other female pilots, transported planes from manufacturing plants to U.S. military bases around the country, freeing up male pilots to fight in the war. Cornelia wrote these words in an article for the Nashville Banner. I, for one, am profoundly grateful that my one talent, my only knowledge, flying, happens to be of use to my country when it is needed. That's all the luck I ever hope to have. They had to know that they were doing something that was so exciting and yet so had such potential for having such far-reaching positive consequences in, in the lives of, of, of women to come. And uh, she was right. On March 21st, 1943, Cornelia Fort was killed when the plane she was piloting across Texas accidentally collided with another military aircraft. She was 24.
After logging more than 1,100 flight hours, Cornelia's adventure in the sky ended as she entered her place in U.S. military history as the first female pilot to die while on active duty. This is so profound. If I die violently, who can say it was before my time? Tish Fort reads from the letter Cornelia wrote to her mother before the fatal crash. I was happiest in the sky at dawn when the quietness of the air and at dusk when the sky was drenched with the fading light. Think of me there and remember me, I hope, as I shall you. With love, Cornelia. Cornelia's well-written words live on, as do the lively photographs of a forever young female pilot. Fortland tragically burned to the ground a year before her death. The estate is now part of the River Greenway at Shelby Bottoms. This local airfield located in East Nashville is appropriately named after the heroine. The likeness of Cornelia Fort is deservedly placed on the carousel. <laughs>